an assistant professor in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology Division of Gynecologic Oncology. I'm also a member of the UCLA Stem Cell Center. Endometrial cancer, it actually is the most common gynecologic cancer in the U.S. It, uh, 50,000 women are diagnosed with endometrial cancer and on an annual basis here in this country. 8,000 unfortunately lose their lives to this disease. And the other uh, aspect of endometrial cancer, which I think is important to talk about, is that the incidence of it is on the rise. And primarily, we think the reason for that is a rise in the rate of obesity. Bleeding is generally the primary sign associated with endometrial cancer. And actually, that is a good sign. Because of that, majority of women with endometrial cancer are diagnosed as, as, at an early stage. 75% of them present at an early stage. Here at UCLA, we have very quickly adopted robotic surgery. Patients typically can go home the next day, though they get a very big operation which involves re removal of the uterus, the ovaries and tubes, and also taking extensive lymphatic biopsies. Similar to diseases of the breast and prostate, endometrial cancer is also driven by hormones. Up to 50% of patients can actually respond to hormonal treatment, and this becomes particularly important in patients who are young. There are a subset of women who are diagnosed with endometrial cancer in reproductive age. They may want to have children at a later date in their lives. And so I think this would be important to have a non-radical, non-surgical treatment option for these patients. I hope that within five years, we have a test, a diagnostic test, where we can take the very same biopsy that's taken to diagnose the patient with endometrial cancer to molecularly analyze it, and then be able to say whether that patient could respond well to a hormone called progesterone. The greater community at UCLA should know that we are completely committed to ad making advancements in treatment of gynecologic cancers. We are here 24 seven to help with any patient who is diagnosed with a gynecologic cancer. We're here to help and guide them through their treatment and take care of them.